about arthritis and rheumatism, a comprehensive guide. It is important to note that this video is for informational purposes only. It should not be used as a substitute for medical advice or consultation with a healthcare professional. With that said, let's dive into the world of arthritis and rheumatism. If you have ever wondered about the relationship between arthritis and rheumatism, you are not alone. These terms are often used interchangeably, but are they actually the same thing? The purpose of this video, about arthritis and rheumatism, is to provide you with answers. You will learn about these conditions, how they are related, their symptoms, causes, and treatments. What is arthritis? Arthritis is a term used to describe a group of conditions that cause inflammation in one or more joints. It can be thought of as an umbrella term for over 100 different types of arthritis, each with its own unique characteristics. One common type of arthritis is rheumatism aka inflammatory arthritis. What is rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis, RA, is a chronic inflammatory disorder that affects the joints, causing pain, swelling, and stiffness. It is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues, including those of the joints. This can lead to bone erosion and joint deformity over time. RA is a progressive disease that can also damage internal organs, eyes, lungs, heart, and other body parts. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect people of all ages, but it is most commonly diagnosed between the ages of 40 and 60. According to a study, more than 50 million adults and 300,000 children in the United States have arthritis. It is more common in women and is seen more often as people age. Symptoms of Rheumatoid Arthritis Symptoms of RA include joint pain, tenderness, swelling, and stiffness that lasts for 6 weeks or longer. Morning stiffness that lasts for 30 minutes or longer is also a common symptom. RA commonly affects joints in the hands, wrists, and knees, and usually appears symmetrically on both sides of the body. Some people with RA may also develop fleshy lumps called rheumatoid nodules, which form under the skin around the affected joints. Causes of Rheumatoid Arthritis It is thought that rheumatism is caused by a combination of environmental and genetic factors. Research suggests that a family history of rheumatoid arthritis increases the risk of developing the condition by three to five times. Environmental factors, such as smoking, are also thought to increase the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis, particularly in Caucasians. Though not fully understood, an increased risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis is thought to be correlated to exposure to asbestos or silica. Diagnosis of Rheumatoid Arthritis Diagnosing rheumatoid arthritis can be challenging, especially in the early stages, as symptoms may mimic those of other diseases such as lupus or fibromyalgia. Therefore, if you suspect you have rheumatoid arthritis, it is important to consult a rheumatologist, a doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating rheumatic diseases. During your appointment, your doctor will ask you questions about your symptoms, such as when you first started experiencing them, how often they occur, and how severe they are. After discussing your symptoms, your doctor will perform a physical examination and check for warmth, swelling, and redness in the affected joints. To confirm the diagnosis, your doctor may order blood tests to check for inflammation levels and the presence of rheumatoid factor. Imaging tests, such as x-rays, MRIs, or ultrasounds, may also be ordered to assess the severity of the disease and track its progression. An MRI or ultrasound can provide more detailed images of the joints and surrounding tissues. Treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, while there is no cure for the disease, there are treatments that can help manage the symptoms, slow down the progression, and lessen the pain. In this section, we will discuss some of the most common treatments for rheumatoid arthritis. Medication is one of the most common treatments for rheumatoid arthritis. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, DEMARDs, are a type of medication that should be started early in treatment. They have been found to improve symptoms, decrease joint damage, and improve overall functional abilities. Some common anti-rheumatic drugs include, methotrexate, hydroxychloroquine, sulfasalazine, Meflunamide, rituximab and tocilizumab, which are monoclonal antibodies and are also DMARDs. Methotrexate is the most commonly used drug and is often the first one prescribed. It can also be used with other anti-rheumatic drugs to increase remission rates. After 6 months, 21% more people had an improvement in their symptoms using a combination of rituximab and methotrexate than those that didn't. Anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs, anti-inflammatory drugs, 
such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, have been found to reduce both pain and stiffness in those suffering from RA. However, because they do not affect the underlying disease, they are usually not the first choice. Also, those with gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, or kidney-related issues should use caution with taking NSAIDs. Examples of NSAID drugs include aspirin, Celebrex, diclofenac, diflunisal, atotalac, ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, indomethacin. Non-NSAID, non-NSAID drugs to relieve pain, like paracetamol, may help reduce the pain, however, like NSAIDs, they do not change the underlying disease. Examples of non-NSAID drugs, acetaminophen, Tylenol, naproxen, Aleve, paracetamol, may be associated with an increased risk of developing ulcers, and tramadol. Physiotherapy slash physical therapy. Physiotherapy and physical therapy can help alleviate the soreness of muscles and reduce inflammation. Applying heat and cold may also help. Electrical stimulation, the elicitation of muscle contraction using electric impulses, can also be used in conjunction with physical therapy. Though some people find relief with electrical stimulation, it is usually short-lived. Lifestyle. Diet. Though there isn't a particular diet for those dealing with rheumatoid arthritis, there are foods with an anti-inflammatory effect. Some of these anti-inflammatory foods include cold water fish, salmon, tuna, sardines, herring, olive oil, fruits, vegetables, nuts slash seeds, beans, green tea. Foods to avoid, beef, dairy, corn oil, fried food, fast food and processed foods, salt, sugar, and alcohol. Supplements, supplements are in abundance, so it's important to talk with your healthcare provider before adding supplements to your routine. Some supplements can interact with other medications, so it's best to err on the safe side. Exercise. Rest is important, but so is exercise. Walking is one of the best exercises you can do. It is low impact and helps to maintain muscle strength and physical function. Exercise can also combat fatigue. You'll want to start with gentle exercise that does not lead to more inflammation. As always, before beginning any exercise program, consult with your doctor. Support, living with rheumatoid arthritis can be challenging, but you don't have to go through it alone. Consider joining a local support group or online community through the Arthritis Foundation. Connecting with others who understand what you're going through can improve your quality of life and reduce feelings of depression and disability. Visit www.arthritis.org to find a local group or explore their online resources. Frequently Asked Questions What are the signs that rheumatoid arthritis is progressing? Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disease that can cause inflammation and damage to the joints and other organs in the body. As the disease progresses, you may experience increased joint pain, stiffness, and swelling. You may also notice decreased range of motion and difficulty with daily activities such as dressing, grooming, and walking. In some cases, rheumatoid arthritis can also cause fatigue, fever, and weight loss. What are seven signs of rheumatoid arthritis? The seven signs of rheumatoid arthritis, as identified by the Arthritis Foundation, are joint pain, swelling and stiffness, fatigue and weakness, loss of appetite and weight loss, low-grade fever, dry eyes and mouth, nodules under the skin, joint deformity and loss of function. Conclusion In conclusion, having a better understanding of rheumatoid arthritis can help you manage the disease more effectively. By recognizing the symptoms you are experiencing, you can address them individually and work with your doctor to develop a personalized treatment plan that suits your needs. It is important to remember that what works for someone else may not necessarily work for you, so it's essential to remain open to different treatments and approaches. Don't be afraid to ask questions or seek support from others who are going through similar experiences. Remember, managing rheumatoid arthritis is a journey, and with the right knowledge, resources, and support, you can successfully navigate it and live a fulfilling life. Thank you for watching. To read the full article, go to livingyourseniorlife.com. The link can be found in the video description.